Hey everyone, it's Barry and Sin. And uh, we just got back from Tokyo, so we're going to give you a look at all the merchandise we came back with, um, which seems to be a popular thing. A lot of people want to see all this different stuff because there's a lot of merchandise that's available at Tokyo Disney that is not available anywhere else. So let's kick it off with probably one of the most popular things right now for the 35th anniversary is this Mickey soap dispenser that uh, dispenses soap in the shape of a uh, Mickey Mouse like it but uh, it's very popular they apparently run out of them a lot and we were lucky every day I think we were there they had them yes yeah, so let's unbox one why not um so it's it's uh we haven't opened one of these we up yet. haven't opened one <laughs> yet so we're gonna open it up here and uh, seems unlike American packaging everything just comes sort of apart here <laughs> and uh, Nope, well, didn't really work. <laughs> Try the other. I don't know. Does it sort of look like a Mickey Mouse? Not really. I think that there there are videos that show you exactly how to do it. There is a method behind the magic. No. Nope. Barry's just failing. I'm at just this. failing at this, and uh, I was not prepared for. Uh, for this, so let's try one last time here. No, nope. so, but uh, they are refillable. You just use foaming soap, and you can put a new one in, keep it, and put a new one in there. Just uh, keep it nice and clean. So maybe, maybe a, one last try here. I think you've got to actually get it closer to the skin. I think that's what the little prongs are there for. Uh -huh. There we go. Ta-da! I mean, like, twist around like that. See? <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> all right, well, another one of these popular things, and perfect for just uh, having soap all over my hands, are these hand towels. Um, Japanese bathrooms only have... Uh, hand dryers. They don't necessarily have paper towels, so it's kind of like a fashion accessory to carry this around everywhere. Uh, I'm a makeup artist, so of course I had to get the Villains lipstick cases. Is super cute so I, I carry that thing around everywhere I'm surprised we didn't end up with more of them but yeah. we were just trying to be practical on this trip and not go too bonkers <laughs> so hand towel very popular there's like what do we see 50 60 different designs of these mm -hmm. of these washcloths all throughout the parks so make sure you have one next um are these hats uh, one of the cool things there is people wearing crazy hats and uh, this is the least crazy out of the crazy hats. absolutely I really wanted to get the happiest celebration because it has a 35th anniversary Tokyo Disney embroidered on the back and I just thought it'd be super cute and then I got my mom a pink one so she can wear when she walks the dogs and it says Mickey Mouse <laughs> nothing on the back but it's got a little a little thing fuzzies. little pom-poms yes. for Mickey ears so super cute Yes, very cute. And uh, next, staying with the headwear, what we've got here is, yeah, they have the mini ears. Yeah, but these aren't rose gold. These are pink mini ears. Um, and then they also have this really cute pleather with the little studs. And they also have a Mickey Mouse version where the Mickey ears are studded and there's no bow. So I really like these. I feel like these were the two that I could get the most use out of. Um, so these are the two ears that I ended up coming home with. And these were like what, seventeen hundred yen? Mm -hmm, between seventeen and eighteen. Which is yen. about sixteen dollars instead of twenty seven ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing they have are these headbands, and this is a duck butt headband. Um, duck butts are popular at Tokyo. Duck, duck things in general. They have a lot more duck swag than we do so here. We're quite it's jelly. Even, it's even got his little little uh, tail feathers. Tail feathers right there, and you uh, put it on top of your head. And, uh, you know, you can a see duck butt. it's a duck butt. Um, <laughs> this is just like, there was about, I think, t probably 30 different types of, of wacky hats and headbands. And, and, uh, and um, they also had like the elastic uh, headbands, like the ones you could put over your ears, especially, which was especially good when it was cold outside. Mm -hmm. And this one was only 1500 yen, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, that's like about $14 American. Um, another thing that is hugely popular at Tokyo Disney are these. Pass holders! They are pass holders. Super cute. Um, so 
So they have them on, so you can wear them as a crossbody. Uh, I love Zero. He's already got a little bit of schmutz on him. Um, but they're very roomy. You zip them up and you can put all kinds of useful little things in there. Uh, I put a little Vic stick. I put lipstick in here every day. Uh, I put all of our change in here. Um, put our fast passes and our passes back here as well as our uh, Suica card to get onto the subway. And they have this cool like little elastic yeah. thingy. So I could just, had them hooked onto me and I just went whoop and yeah. swiped away. And the uh, Mickey hamburger one is it was very popular. It's probably the most popular, and I'd say the most iconic of all the different ones. Um, I couldn't leave without this little otter. He was adorable. He doesn't quite fit quite fit as much. Um, he doesn't come with a cool little slinky, but I can still like hook him up or use him as a wristlet. Um, and where do you put the pass? Inside a little fishy. Yeah, yeah, and these were, uh, most of them were around 1,800 yen. I think some mm -hmm. of the Duffy and Friends ones were like 20, 20, 2,000 yen. Yeah, there were a little bit more. Um, um, I'm not super crazy about Duffy and Shelly Mae, and a lot of people are. Please do not execute me in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> um, but these were my three favorites, and again, I was trying to be very selective with what it is that we ended up coming home with. Um, another uh, plushy bag is this Marie bag um, from uh, Aristocats and it's, yeah. it's earlier in the season they also had Toulouse he completely sold out uh, we were very much so lucky to find her um, it's cute because you can wear her as a backpack or as a crossbody so she you can yep. customize her either way and then she's got a she opens up here in the middle and uh, you got a fair amount of room yeah you can fill her whole belly with all cards Kinds of cute things. And we lucked out because she was clearanced for 1,700 yen. She was originally 2,800 yen. So good find. Yeah, we found a lot of stuff on clearance. We sort of lucked out in that way. I guess it, that's the one good thing that paid about being there at the end of the season or the end of the year. <laughs> yeah, another to thing we got in the only haunted mansion, one of the only haunted mansion things, I think two, we found two haunted mansion things is this uh, sort of paper diorama. Um, you, uh, you know, it's, it's designed to look like the Haunted Mansion and I doubt you can see really well. You can open it up and you put together this little paper diorama inside. And um, like I said, there wasn't a lot of ride specific merchandise. That was parts. probably the most surprising. Yeah, the, not a lot of ride specific merchandise. And this actually was originally 1500 yen and was marked down to 750 yen. So pretty good deal. And me, her being huge Haunted Mansion fans, we got this for ourselves and we may have gotten it for one other person who's a very big Haunted Mansion fan. <laughs> Um, another big thing uh, that we got, uh, this is sort of m miscellaneous type stuff, um, for the 35th anniversary, they don't have pin trading at Tokyo Disney, No. but they do have pins and they do have buttons. And actually for the 35th anniversary, they had this special pin and button set that had um, the two different Mickeys. It had the, the original Mickey from when in the park opened in 1983 plus the current 35th anniversary Mickey. You also got a pin for the 35th anniversary, and then around it is buttons for each land in uh, Tokyo Disneyland, from World Bazaar to Western Land, Critter Country, Fantasyland, Toontown, Tomorrowland, and Adventureland. This was originally 3,500 yen, and it was actually, even though the 35th anniversary hadn't ended yet, I guess these weren't selling well, so they had already marked it down to 1,900 yen, and that was too good of a deal to pass up. Um, the other thing they have, uh, like I said, there weren't a lot of pins, but there were a lot of buttons, and buttons are very popular there. Um, and the interesting thing, unlike here at Walt Disney World, where like if you're celebrating your anniversary or your honeymoon, or your birthday, you go to go to guest relations or go to different parts in the park and get a free button. Here you have to pay for your button. It wasn't that much, it was like 310 yen. They were yeah. relatively inexpensive. Yeah, and we got this uh, this cute, uh, since it was our honeymoon, this happy together button. It says so, together forever. <laughs> and everywhere we went, we wore this button and 
God, I lost track of how many cast members wished us happy wedding, which I guess is the way they do yeah. it. Do it in Japanese. Happy wedding. We heard happy wedding day. Uh, happy family birthday. <laughs> yeah, we, we heard all kinds of things. And definitely, if you're there for an anniversary, for your birthday, or you you can even get one that we um, get an unbirthday button. Um, which we did get, but we don't seem to have here. Um, <laughs> you can you wear these buttons, and, and, it, and it causes the cast members will inter usually if you have some sort of button on, the cast members will look at it and may interact with you more. Yeah, the, originally we didn't know if they would have any sort of like anniversary or wedding type buttons, so we brought our happily ever after ones from Walt Disney World, and I can't tell you how many cast members just stopped us saying, "What does your button mean?" Like in whatever <laughs> broken English they could make out. Yeah. So I'd be like, "Oh." We just got married married yeah. and this is the universal yeah. symbol for we just got married and they all went bananas <laughs> yeah I mean the, the cast members there some of them some of them speak a little bit of English some of them are very fluent in English That's true. Um, so it varies you know other buttons we got we got this happy uh, we had to get some more 35th up so we got this 35th anniversary celebration probably the reason we love the design of the 35th anniversary especially many Minnie and her little, like, eyes closed, happy. <laughs> yeah, um, pretty much all of the artwork and all the costumes had streamers interweaved somehow. Like, even if you look at Chip and Dale's little hats, there are, like, little confetti streamers just streaming yeah. up. It's super, super cute. So, the, so this was 500 yen. And then we, since it was Christmas time, each year, you know, their Christmas merchandise, they don't repeat stuff. It's new and different every year. And this year for Disney Sea. This was like Minnie and this is the Tokyo Disney C button for Christmas this year and they and they and Minnie and Mickey in their specific outfits this year which from what we know it changes every single year they have different outfits and different designs um, staying with sort of the button thing is magnets magnets are very popular there too and for Tokyo Disney C there's not a lot of port specific which is what they call their lands their ports specific merchandise outside of these magnets. That's true. And so we, we picked up an Arabian Coast one, which has the genie on it, um, which makes sense, because since he has a show, a 3D show there, and it's it's sort of a mashup, it's mix, it's, Arabian Coast is a mix up of Aladdin and Sinbad, um, and then Mysterious Island, um, which is where 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Journey to the Center of the Earth is, has this magnet, which just, it has Goofy on there. <laughs> it does have the Nautilus. And by the way, this was the only item in the entire park that had the Nautilus on it. Um, which, you know, is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And I guess Goofy and his adventurer's outfit. So these were about the only, like, land-specific things they had at Tokyo uh, Disney Sea. All right, now we're going to get into, I guess we'll classify coasters as food stuff. Um, we're going to... We're gonna do a, little, a few different things, but uh, one of the things they have are these 35th anniversary coasters. Now these are paper coasters, and I guess they're sponsored by Coke. Ta-da! Ta-da, which um, <laughs> at Tokyo Disney, almost everything is sponsored by something. Um, you know, the parades, some of the restaurants. I mean, it, it's sort of like how Disney used to be here in, in Disney World. I mean, there's still some sponsors, but yeah, these are sponsored, I guess, by Coke. <laughs> And we got these because uh, we're going to, I guess we're going to stick some of these as gifts, as little extra things in everybody's bag. Because not all this stuff is for us, <laughs> in case you're wondering. Um, a lot of it's for other people who ask for things and also gifts. So these were originally 950 yen and were marked down to 480. So it was, like I said, we really lucked out on getting stuff that was on clearance this year. So. Um, another big thing, um, and surprisingly, this was the only one we came home with, <laughs> mm -hmm. tins. Um, uh, an important thing when people go to the parks there, I guess it's a Japanese thing to bring back gifts. I believe they call it umiyage. Yeah, to, their, to your friends and family who didn't get to go. So um, there's a lot of tins with, with different cookies, candies, treats. Um, we saw everything from ramen to rice crackers, um, cocoa. There was even one that just had like bath salts that you could like individually give out to friends. Um, but specifically wanted to come home with this one because it was a piece of merch that had both Tokyo Disney Sea and Tokyo Disneyland. 
Um, I love their vintage looking outfits. I'm definitely into the dapper vibe and has my favorite ducks, so it had to come home with me. Yes, McConnell and Daisy. <laughs> And the good thing too, these have chocolate crunch cookies that are milk tea flavored, which for us it was, milk tea was a very important thing. Well, hot milk tea was a very important thing while we were there because it, it um, the cool thing there at... Um, Any at vending machine Sheen. is that they, for the summertime, they switch it out, but in the winter you can go and it's always one row that's full of just hot drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can just get them directly out of the vending machine. It's already piping hot. Um, and great for those cold rainy mornings. Yeah, the milk tea was a lifesaver every single day. Um, another thing was this Christmas ornament, but it's not just a Christmas ornament. There's candy inside, which there was a couple of different types of these that they had in the shops and the restaurants of Christmas ornaments that have candy inside. So we really like this one the best because this is Tokyo Disney Sea, and it's got Mickey, and Minnie and Donald and Daisy in their Christmas outfits, mm -hmm. which are specifically for this year. And uh, it's got caramels inside. So we're probably gonna give the caramels away and keep the ornament, but. Uh, <laughs> if anyone knows Barry, he's obsessed with ornaments. Yeah, and, <laughs> and really some of the only ornaments they had there, except for they had a couple of different, I think, Christmas ball ornaments that had like Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo mm -hmm. Disney Sea on were these ones that had candy inside. Cause you had these and you had uh, two different ones at the restaurants, which we will get into. Speaking of restaurants, at the restaurants there, they have special items you can buy that come with your food. Um, and this is a Queen of Hearts banquet hall, which is themed uh, the Queen of Hearts and Alice in Wonderland. And when you bought a special slice of was raspberry chocolate cake, you got this plate. And this was one of many things you could get at the, uh, these were at quick service restaurants. They had cups you could get if you bought a certain Mugs. Drink. Um, this one came with like a very decorative, like little doily. And then it had the dessert so your item stays clean. They give you a little plastic bubble wrap sheet to make sure that it gets home safely. And for 750 yen, roughly about six US dollars, you got a small piece of dessert. That was very, very yummy and an awesome little souvenir to take home. So. Yeah, you often got um, like these type of souvenirs for the same price you would pay for a dessert here in the U.S. So that was really neat and it was a really cool design. And uh, Specifically says Queen of Hearts Banquet Hall and I fell in love with this artwork so it had to come home with us. Uh, I From the beginning we said nothing that could be breakable and we broke our own rule. With a couple of items here, yes, but this is actually ceramic. Yeah, it's actually ceramic, and we had to come home with it. Yeah, there are some that's plastic, but the, a lot of the mugs and the, the little plates like this are actually ceramic. And speaking of another ceramic item, this Winnie the Pooh. Uh, it's tea. It's honey flavored tea. Yes. Uh, I am a huge tea fan, uh, and after the tea is gone, I can refill it with other loose leaf teas. So he had to come home with me. This is part of a new collection that they're starting. They started with Snow White, and now they've moved on with to Winnie the Pooh. Um, so hopefully, every time that we get to visit, I'll be able to come home with a new little tea. Yeah, and it's reusable. Uh, and one more food item uh, we got is. Is this a rice spatula? Yes, it's a rice spatula. So um, my family is part Asian and <laughs> rice cookers are a very big thing in our home. Um, my dad's wife's name, nickname is Pooh. So we had to get her a Winnie the Pooh little rice spatula. Um, it was just adorable for 800 yen. I had to bring it home as a special little Christmas gift for her. Yeah, it was a nice little gift. Yeah. <laughs> um, another thing that is very popular at Tokyo Disney is stationery. <laughs> um, stationery and pens, and this falls in again with, with gifts, bringing gifts home to people. Um, I mean, some people get them for themselves, but, uh, you know. Quick, skip to the Haunted Mansion, Haunted Mansion. <laughs> yeah, we, the other piece of Haunted Mansion <laughs> merchandise we found was this little... Post-it post notes. Post-it notes. That was it, you guys. <laughs> That's it for Haunted Mansion merchandise. And this was like 350 yen. It's not bad for a little post-it note thing. Um, we got these... What is this? Uh, well, when in Japan and you want to learn how to do origami, why not pick up a little how-to Disney set? Um, it shows you how to make little origami hearts, and it has all of the 
princes and princesses together. So you have Eric and Ariel, Jasmine and Aladdin, uh, Punzi and Flynn, Belle and the Beast. So I was like, mm, a little extra thingy for me. I need it. It's coming home. Yeah, and this was 400 yen for that. And then there, here are these Belle yeah, post-it post notes. notes that stand up. So if you wanted to leave like a little note on someone's desk, I thought it was adorable because it shows her whole gown. And then on the inside, uh, there's a space for you to write the little special note. And uh, this was 400 yen. And uh, another popular thing, they still have postcards. Remember these? <laughs> um, I think we have some at, at, at Disney here. But one of the things they do there is you can fill out your postcard and get it what postmarked mm -hmm. yep you go ahead and you can go to uh they have two different posts i'm sorry a different post office in each park and then inside of each one of the resorts and i do believe they all have their individual unique stamp so you can go up to them they will go ahead and you will purchase a stamp through them they will postmark it and so if you want to go ahead and mail things off either to yourself as a souvenir or someone back home it's a great little extra add-on to let people know you were thinking about them on your trip. Yeah, we got these individual ones. One was for Big Band Beat, which is a, the best Disney stage show ever. Mm -hmm. um, and a 35th anniversary one. We're probably gonna use these for a little like shadow box we create. Um, and uh, we also, this is the only, uh, they also had already had the New Year merchandise. The um, New Year, the New Year celebration is a huge, is actually bigger than Christmas there. So, and this year's the year of the pig, so. We got Pumba. Pumba <laughs> is featured in all the New Year merchandise. And this is like a set of postcards that was 620 yen. So, um, just a nice little, like I said, it's something you can do to send off to people or you just bring them back and use them for yourself. You know, like we were gonna use them in our little shadow box. The other really big thing are these fold, what are they, sleeves? Plastic? They call them plastic sleeves, but yeah. really they're just little plastic folders or sheet protectors. Um, I have a friend of mine that works in an office in accounting, so I figured these would be perfect to add a little kawaii touch to her office. Yeah, and these uh, these run anywhere usually from four to 500 yen. Um, and sometimes they come in packs. Uh, sometimes they have multiples in there. Um, some of them are a little holographic or have some iridescent coloring in them. Um, so it just depends. Yeah, there, there had to be well over 50, 50, 60 different designs in these types of things. It just everywhere throughout both mm -hmm. parks. So we hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far. Remember, click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the parks.